Good morning to everyone. I'm making something this morning that I rarely make. I may make it two or three times a year, and that's coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I'm going to drink some coffee this morning. So I'm going to show you how to make coffee, not in just the Mr. Coffee coffee maker, you know. I'm going to show you how to make coffee in a percolator, okay? A what? A percolator. Some of you people, if you're young folks, you've probably never seen a percolator before. This was my dad's percolator. So what we want to do, we want to put some water in this percolator to about right here. Now this is a small percolator, so it probably only makes maybe about two cups of coffee. There's bigger ones that'll make way more coffee than that, but this was dad's, uh, my daddy's little percolator. So we're gonna put a little water in here. Okay, pour a little bit out. You don't want your water to be all the way up to the spout here because if, you, if it's all the way up to the spout, when the water starts boiling, it's going to boil out of this spout. So see, I've got it right below the spout. And also, you've got to have room for your little, for the guts, it's got to go inside. So see this little stem here? When I stick this down in here, that's going to make the water rise because this is taking up some of your room. Okay. okay, this is the inside. This is the guts. Just put that together for you, let you see that. This is where you put your coffee, right in here. All right, then it's got a little lid that goes on it like that. And all of that sits down in your percolator. So let's put this down in here. And we don't need the lid on right this minute because I've got to put my coffee in. All right, I don't like real strong coffee and my daddy didn't drink real strong coffee so that's probably where i got that from so see like two small spoons of coffee is enough for this little percolator so you just put that in there kind of spread it around can you see over in there uh -huh. so we've got mm. our coffee spread around in there let me do a close-up okay and see this, this little doodad here, it's a, it's a strainer, you know, it's got little holes in the bottom. So what's going to happen is that when this, when the water gets to boiling, it's going to shoot up through this little, uh, this little stem here, fall down over the coffee, and then it will run back down into your pot. And that's going to make, that's going to make your coffee for you. All right, here's the lid. Now this lid has got this little clear piece here on top and when this coffee gets to cooking you're going to see you're going to see the coffee perking up in here see it's going to come up through this little hole here that goes right over the top that little hole is going to be sticking right in there and when the coffee shoots up through this little stem it'll shoot up in here and you'll just see it going boom, 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 and it'll be percolating Okay. Does it make that noise too? It makes a noise not that it <laughs> but it does make a noise I've got my burner already on high. See, my burner's red. You want to turn your burner on high because you're wanting to get your water to heat up, you know, and get it to boiling. And once it gets to boiling, then it will start percolating. Is there a certain coffee that you use for it? Well, now, you can use, you know, whatever your favorite brand or flavor is. My favorite brand is um, Maxwell House. That's what I like. But we couldn't find Maxwell House, so we got Folgers. So Folgers is my second favorite favorite brand. But it will take a few minutes for this to begin percolating. And we'll, then I'll be able to show you and you'll be able to see the coffee coming up in here and how this works. All right, it's starting to percolate here. You can see the stem right down in there where the coffee is shooting up and shooting up into this little bulb. Hear it perking? Okay, now, it. now what we got to do now is you just let it cook like this. I'll probably, let me turn the heat down just a little bit because it can start just perking so violently, but it don't really look like it's going to. Um, but we're gonna let it perk like this until the coffee gets as strong as you want it to be. So you can look at it here coming up through here and just kind of watch it 
until it gets as dark or as strong as you want it to be. Sometimes I'll actually just pour me a little bit out in a cup and look at it, and if it's not strong enough, then I just let it perk some more. So you you'll know? actually see the the liquid change color yeah. in the in the little yeah you should see it turn dark yes change color now let me tell you a little story about this though while we're waiting on this to uh, get as dark as we want it to be uh, my daughter Rebecca when she was about 10 when she was about 10 years old uh, daddy got uh, called her and, and said Beck let me show you how to make my coffee baby and so he taught her with this coffee pot how, how he liked his coffee cooked. And so in the morning time, he'd say, my blue-eyed angel girl, would you make me some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> and Beck was just a child, but she was so proud because her papa had taught her how to make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd come in here and she'd make daddy's coffee for him. <laughs> okay, let's look at here. Yeah, you can see it's turning dark, or I can. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, on the video, but I can see it's turning dark. We're going to let it perk just a few more minutes, and then we'll take a look at it again. Okay, so the coffee is strong enough for me. Like I said, I don't like my coffee real strong. My son Dave and my daughter Rebecca, they love theirs really strong. And like I said before, I'm not really a coffee drinker. I love to drink hot chocolate, but I can't drink hot chocolate right now because, like I said before, I'm having to eat low fat. So, I can drink coffee, so I'll drink coffee and I'll doctor it up a little bit and it'll taste good. So let's pour some in here and let everybody see. Now, in reality, you need to take it off of the burner and let it sit for a few minutes because it's going to have some coffee grounds that have kind of uh, gotten, come up through the stem and out the little strainer and everything. So if you let it sit just for a minute, those coffee grounds will fall to the bottom of your pot. And then you pour you some coffee. But I'm going to go ahead and pour me some. I want you to see what it looks like. Can you get up here close? Mm-hmm. Let's, let's pour some. See, there's my coffee right there out of the percolator. Looks like tea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Daddy would be so proud. Maybe he's watching from heaven. Look down in there and show him the coffee. Maybe he's watching from heaven and saying... Well, there's my niecey gal. She's making coffee with my old percolator. Mm. All right, folks. Y'all have a good day.